Do you guys remember that game that was supposed to be the Battlefield Killer? The game that had the perfect launch window as Battlefield was fumbling its PR? The game that launched and then flopped on its first day because of god-awful servers that nobody could really get into because of the sheer amount of people that wanted to play World War 3? Or at least that's what I thought. But getting into the servers, finally, there was hardly anyone even in them. Yeah, it was just a mess. There was just no recovering from that. No amount of updates would keep this game in check. But believe me, they did try. They dropped a couple of updates here and there, but as the year went on, the updates gradually began to halt. It almost seemed like the project was about to be abandoned. It almost felt as if they were going into hiding. But then one day, out of the blue, they announced a partnership with a game company called My Dot Games. Basically, what this company allowed them to do is revamp and relaunch. And that is exactly what is going on right now. Let's talk about it. If you enjoy my content, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and ding that bell. I just launched the join button and got two new members. Thank you guys, you are awesome. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I want to say that I have access to the newer version of World War 3 and have had access to it for a while now, as you can tell by their most recent trailer. For those of you that don't know, when they announced the Games partnership, they also had a sign-up sheet where you could actually hop into their closed build. But unfortunately, I was never actually able to get into it, at least not the way that they said I could. In fact, very few that signed up actually got in. No, I was actually recommended by a YouTuber named Blue the Robot. Shout out to that guy for getting me in on recommendation. That was nice of him. But uh, yeah, I've been in and out of playtesting just to see what kind of progress the game has been making. Every now and then I'd hop in to see what's new or what's been added. But unfortunately, I am not allowed to talk or show anything about this game because I am under NDA. No. See, the real reason why I actually wanted to make this video was because the game actually leaked. And I kind of wanted to know how many people actually knew about that because I didn't even know until I like went back into Steam and was like oh shit my private access got revoked I was like oh no what did I do and I later found out that somebody had actually leaked it but the only people that really seemed to care was just the developers themselves as far as I could tell there wasn't that many people that really knew about it I think there was maybe like one developer that talked to me about it that was about it so that's what this video was going to be about I was basically gonna mention that there was a leak but not too many people really knew about it or seemed excited about it so what are your thoughts is this game even relevant but it's really pointless now because just a couple of days ago their twitter account became active and started doing a countdown that eventually led to the trailer that we're going to talk about in just a little bit but um yeah funny enough i actually asked them before they started doing this stuff like what's their plan like with battlefield 2042 coming out like are they gonna wait a year or something they actually told me that they didn't know or i mean obviously they're not gonna divulge that type of information to me but when i saw like the cryptic message and the countdown it's like oh well it all makes sense because you know there was a lot of like stuff going on behind the scenes that i was witnessing i just didn't think that it'd be so soon you know but now that the cat's out of the bag i guess we should talk about it now right so world war 3 for those of you that don't know maybe you've been living under a rock has started to become active again they released a cryptic message and started a countdown to a trailer that basically tells us what they've been working on and what's new i ended up watching a video from tactic gamer he's another youtuber who i hang out with every now and then but he made a really good video theorizing what might come from world war 3 from what i remember he said that a trailer is going to come from the countdown they're going to show more at pax east because apparently they're on some sort of list that he found and then he talked about how on the first posting of the twitter that cryptic message will determine when we think the game is going to come out see the little text down there it says 22 days 12 hours and 39 minutes and this was posted on july 5th so add the 22 days and we think it's about a month from that post so uh yeah we think the game is probably going to come out sometime next month so while we wait for that let's take a look at this little trailer that they just released so let's see what's new obviously they're going to have brand new animations a bunch of new weapons and customization vehicle gameplay i don't believe they have any like air vehicle gameplay it's just mostly um tanks and cars although i think they are looking into it because they did kind of show off some of the helicopter gameplay but i'm not sure if it's like a vehicle that you could just walk in and pick up i think it's one of those vehicles where you have to call in and then you just spawn into a helicopter and just move around the map but uh yeah i love the new tank gameplay that's why you see me featured in a tank in the freaking trailer but anyways they've obviously made some map improvements there aren't any different maps as far as i can tell like they're all the ones that i've seen previously in the original version but the difference here is that they actually optimize every single one of the maps like they all feel pretty smooth to play and i do believe that they made some minor iterations to the maps but i'm not sure if they did it to every map i just really hope that these aren't the only 
maps that they have here. Like, I kind of hope that they didn't show the beta testers everything. I just don't want to be surprised with new content on release, you know? Like, I hope they didn't show us their full hand, if you know what I'm saying. I want them to have brand new maps that they had on reserve, you know, for like launch day, you know? That would be great. But anyhow, they go on to talk about the gunplay and the movement system and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It just feels so fucking good. It feels so nice to move around and the guns just feel so good to shoot. Like the original version that I played the other day feels like literal garbage compared to what we played in the freaking NDA version. It just feels so nice. And the sexy animations just complement that movement system. Oh, good. I think you guys are definitely gonna like it. They talk about brand new scopes the game and yeah they definitely look a lot better than the ones in the previous version and i'm pretty sure that there's even more scopes in the newer version than there is in the older version which would make sense right but they look pretty freaking good so yeah another thing that i wasn't able to try because i didn't know how to freaking use it was the new backpack feature and from what i've seen it looks really good like it's basically like the system that battlefield is gonna have where you can like edit your guns on the fly but i think this one just looks a lot better because it's like a little box at the top left you know it's funny because to compare this to like ready or not they used to have it where you could like edit your weapons in such a ridiculous way and i just told them no just put it in a box in the corner right there and there you go and that's basically what this is very nice very nice wish i could have tried it but i didn't actually know how to freaking use it and yeah that's basically every key point that they showed off here so yeah it was a pretty cool trailer but i think it's missing two things and a third major one so here are the two things one this doesn't have a release date like at all it doesn't tell us when the game's gonna get released so we're not sure if it's coming pretty early or if it's coming late like the only thing that we really have to go off of is that one cryptic message and i don't even know if that actually is the release date but uh yeah so we have no idea when it's releasing two we have no confirmation that any of this is going to be free to play well sorry big fry you done goofed kid exposed the earth 2 devs are gonna like this as ammunition it's pretty obvious that they're gonna have a monetization system but we have no idea if they're gonna go free to play or if they're still gonna go to regular launch price but everything points to them going free to play like you know their partnership with my dot game and my dot games basically has an entire arsenal of free games with a bunch of monetization and to be honest i'm not really fond of the idea of them going free to play if they actually do it because you know i bought this game at store price when it came out so it would kind of feel like a slap in the face if they just did that but i get it i understand going free to play would definitely benefit the game especially when they're going up against a juggernaut like battlefield i mean i know that they're not actually trying to go up against battlefield but what other game are they going to compare it to battlefield is a modern shooter Shooter, and this game is also a modern shooter that's a little more tactical so how can you not compare world war 3 going free to play would definitely give the game a huge edge because i definitely have a lot of criticisms of battlefield 2042 i think that 2042 is definitely overpriced at 60 70 dollars for the amount of content that they're giving you they're barely giving you like seven maps world war 3 is giving you full-on customization while this game is giving you specialists with limited customization the maps might be big in battlefield but as far as far as I can tell, I have yet to see any actual destruction in any of the maps that they've shown off so far. But I think I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. I think I have to ask this question. Was this trailer enough to get people excited for World War 3 again? Did this compel you to give the game another chance? What do I think? I think that this trailer was enough to get people like me and their cold following riled up again, but when it comes to like the general public or the casual gamers, I really don't know. I don't feel like this trailer did enough. Like this trailer felt like it was only trying to please people who are already kind of invested in the game like me and their cult following but i'm not entirely sure if this was the trailer that actually reached out to people but maybe you think differently let me know in the comments if you think uh, i'm wrong or something but uh yeah so they definitely have a good game right now like the game isn't the biggest issue with this so far what they have to do now is not fuck it up they have to release it at a specific time that isn't when battlefield launches because if they do it anytime near there then they're screwed and another thing that they have to do is make sure that they're servers work on release because if the servers don't work that's their last freaking straw that is the straw that broke the camel's back i don't want to see a repeat of 2018 or it launches and it flops if it doesn't function on release oh boy that's it it's over i mean the game back in 2018 did have quite a bit of issues but none weren't as bad as the freaking servers on launch oh my god that was that was god awful so have a good window launch and make sure those servers work on release i know that world war 3 is really good when it comes to marketing so i don't think we really need to worry about that but can you imagine like if battlefield ends up fucking it up somehow and world war 3 is like hey fanboy would you like to uh come and try it our game our game works our game functions
functions. But we have way more customization options, you know what I mean? But who knows, anything could really happen, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much all I've really got to say about that. So what are your thoughts? So are you excited or are you already over this game? Let me know, because I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like World War 3, be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. Stick around. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month or click on the join button underneath the video. Any support helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.